Hello everybody and welcome to the weekly live stream on the channel. I hope everyone's doing great today. Thank you so much for joining me in this very appropriate sandbox. It is indeed truly sandy. It also looks really nice. Look at that. That looks so good. Yeah, so I finally unlocked enough, not everything, but I finally unlocked enough that I felt like it was time to uh, get a proper sandbox park going. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I see Fletcher in the chat as moderator. Uh, be kind to the moderators. Don't spam. Don't be annoying. <laughs> Just be yourself unless being yourself means you're annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure you're all super cool. Thank you for joining. Uh, I see random person, Psycho Rex, uh, Barbie Bakes Cake, Splint, Dylan's World of YouTube, Sabina Olsen, AAKK, Gabriel Nicoletto, Noisy Boy, Neron is here. Welcome. This channel is for commenting. Well, you're using it very appropriately. The One Lime Guy, Sam Stuff, Orca, Brommel TV, I'm assuming you're Dutch, <laughs> Devil, Caden Grimes, Captain Stroon, The Bot. Uh, oh, chat jumped. Ooh. Jacob is here, Joe Blocks, uh, and channel jumped again. Well, we're just jumping all over the place, aren't we, chat? Thank you very much, YouTube. Oh my god, don't get me started on YouTube this week. Anyway, <laughs> uh, McCann McCann, 42 Ostriches, Bandcrafter HD, MCG Things, Hubert uh, Tresiak, Fun Game, Andre Na Nastasa, uh, Annoying Me. <laughs> <laughs> That's an appropriate name for what I just said. That was a dumb joke. I'm sorry about that. McGrady prehistoric stuff. Are things already... No, park is closed. I was like, are things already burning to the ground over here? Um, chicken buttercups. It's <laughs> a funny name. You got the game on Thursday. Enjoy. Uh, a random gamer. Sharky Warky. Cold Handor. Phoenix. Super Nav Nathan. Boom Master Dragon Gaming. You've been waiting for this. Well, welcome. Oh, uh, okay. I think that's the last chat jump I'm gonna suffer. We're just gonna get started. Uh, let me actually check if I have the necessary things accumulated. Hey, Beluga, thank you so much for that super chat. You get the first Yahoo of the stream. Yahoo. Yahoo. Ooh, oh, it's so smooth the way it goes. Oh, right, it's in fast forward. I was like, did they speed up the monorail? No, it's actually still pretty dang slow. Hey, Bankraft HD, you also get a Yahoo. Yahoo. Love the streams. Thank you so much, Bankrafter. Thank you so much for joining. All right, so I just need to check if I have what I need to uh, make dinosaurs because that there is a little bit of... You know, there's some ado about that. Let's not beat around the bush. It's a little annoying. Especially, let me see if I get a good clutch of scientists. Not particularly. For example, uh, Sneha Data, she has uh, a capacity for 10 points for welfare. But she's the best. Everyone else looks to be a max of 7. And that's a little bit unfortunate for like the... Um, you know, the more complicated dinosaurs to manufacture or incubate. Beluga coming through with another super chat. Thank you so, so much. And thank you for the cute sticker. Yahoo. Yahoo. Can never have enough Yahoos. I love that little clip. <laughs> uh, so yeah, for example, you see that this guy has uh, a seven. That's the max you can train him to. And uh, for incubating dinosaurs, that's... You know, that's not going to be ideal. But thankfully, Snea has 10 in welfare. That's an important um, skill to have for making dinosaurs. I'm honestly just going to fill... Oh, this one has 8. That's also good. I think for creating dinosaurs, uh, genetics and welfare are the most important. So that's what I'm looking at right now. And I'll be training them after this. Let's see. 7 in welfare. That's also pretty good. I really don't think I need logistics, but I'm going to get it anyway. It's sad box. We have unlimited money. You're watching for uh, ideas on decorations, devil? I hope I have some. It's my first time really properly playing sandbox, aside from the video I did earlier this week. So, um... I'm gonna. I'm, I'm still gonna be figuring things out myself, actually, and uh, playing around with, with the decorations, but... I think we're going to make a pretty park. That's kind of what we do on the channel. <laughs> uh, let me bump her up to 10 over here. See what else we can get out of her. All right. Let me just train these folks. Iron Leviathan, thank you so, so much. You get the first raptor hug. Thank you for that super chat. That's super generous, as always. Raptors are fantastic huggers. They're the best. Like... It's really underestimated how well they give hugs. 
All right, let me. Like this is a little. This is this is a little boring, right? Let, let's be honest. It's a little boring. Oh, we can do more with him. Okay. But it's what needs to be done. I'm giving you uh, the honest sandbox experience right now. It's a little. There's room for improvement. You know what? I'm gonna leave it at that. There's room for improvement. Frontier, if you, <laughs> if you need some, <laughs> if you need some feedback, <laughs> I just want to make this game the best it can possibly be. You know how I am. You know this uh, game is essentially my life, and I'm beyond being ashamed of that. Alrighty, so I'm gonna show you which dinosaurs I have, and then uh, you guys can give input on what should be the first dinosaur in the park. Uh, first, I see Beluga with yet another little super chat over it there, so you get another Yahoo. I love, I love Richard Attenborough. He is missed. Okay, so, uh, oh right, let's actually show over here. I'm still getting used to stuff. I've, I've breached the 40 hour point. I played a lot today to unlock as much as possible for this live stream. So I'm at 79 out of 84 dinosaurs. That's pretty decent. I'll just show you which ones I don't have. And that is the Dreadnoughtus, the Giganotosaurus, which is very confusing for me to get. And maybe you guys can help me in the chat. I'll elaborate on that later. I don't have the Indominus, unfortunately as well as the Indoraptor. They're very difficult to get. They're like the last dinosaur you can get in a uh, uh, in a challenge mode. And Stiggy Moloch, for some reason, I just can't find it. Like Stiggy Moloch is playing hide and seek for me. I don't know why. I love Stiggy Moloch. I've defended Stiggy Moloch. Stiggy Moloch was on my list of favorite dinosaurs for the first game, so. I don't know. The feelings of love and affection are apparently not mutual and I'll pretend I'm not upset about that. Okay. So, uh, yeah, this is basically the roster. If you have the game or if you've been keeping up with the news, you're sort of familiar with, um, with what we have. Maybe we should limit it to a certain type because, for example, we're starting over here, right? So it's going to be our first exhibit, I think. By the way, this is totally unplanned. Usually when I do a video for a sandbox park build, I plan it out a little bit more, but because it's a live stream, I really just want to use you guys' as input. So <laughs> that's why it's it's totally unplanned. I just, uh, you know, we did a little oval thing over here and that's, uh, we're just gonna expand it out from there. Uh, I do see I love Doggo saying Cryolophosaurus, Super Naf says Toast. <laughs> oh my God, I love Python. Thank you so much for yet another super chat. First you get a hug. That was supposed to have a message attached to it. Oh no, that sucks. Oh, did YouTube screw up on that one? Oh my god, I've had such a week with YouTube. Uh, I hoped... Oh, I hopped straight into hard challenge mode. Canada, you weren't kidding about the storms. You are a brave soul, Iron Leviathan. I, um, I did my first medium against the gaming beaver, in case you didn't see that. I played with the gaming beaver, you know, just a casual... What was it? Thursday. <laughs> and that was my first time playing medium and... Well, if you've seen the video, you know what happened. A panic. Just panic in all capitals. Um, I think we should not go too big for the dinosaur. But other than that, it's it's up to you. So just, just throw some suggestions in there. And I'm going to basically just pick one at random. Uh, Warp Scorpion, you just watched that video. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope you had fun with it. Uh, oh, it's really blowing up now. Uh, okay, I'm gonna close my eyes and then I'm gonna open them. And what it, whichever one pops out of me, that's what it's gonna be. It's a Margosaurus, okay. <laughs> that's an, I don't know why my eye was drawn to that one. It's a good dinosaur, though. Let's see if I have uh, skins for it. Uh, I do have skins for it. Honestly, the previews, they suck. Not gonna lie, they suck. For example, the Megalosaurus that you saw on the thumbnail. Uh, the preview for it looked... Let's see if we can find something similar. The answer is no. <laughs> but the preview for it was a little bluish toned almost. And instead it came out a bright, bright green. So... Not impressed with the previews. <laughs> it's basically just a shot in it. You know what? This looks nice. Let's see how that turns out. We'll see. I have no idea. Okay. Uh, we need six beaker things. So uh, Nassar is up to the up to the task, and then it's just a waiting game, really. 
you do have to uh, pay attention because you have to go back in there and um, do more. Now, I will say uh, it's not necessarily my intention <laughs> for this to become a five-star park. You know, it's uh, we're focused on the aesthetics here. And honestly, I don't even trust people to really know what makes a good park anyway. Is this... Uh, Let's go, let's go mega thick with it. Mega thick. I do like this double entry thing over here. Let's actually open the park before I forget, because knowing me, I will forget. Uh, so yeah, we're getting started on a little viewing moment. Uh, I'm gonna use this fencing. The dinosaurs won't escape. That's the beauty of sandbox, thankfully. Oh, we do have to be mindful with the combinations of dinosaurs. That combat, you can't turn that off. So certain combinations are not possible. Hey, James Parman, thank you so, so much. You too, get a raptor hug. I hope you enjoy it. It's wonderful. Very, very, very cozy. Albertosaurus, at some point, please also love your videos. Thank you so, so much. I am going to keep a list. Don't worry, I am going to keep a list. I'm writing it down. Albertosaurus. Alberto! Hey, Beluga, thanks so much again. Yahoo! Yahoo! All right, let's go. Uh, I'm actually gonna curve it, I think. Um, you know what I might do? I think I'm gonna f try to fill that up with rocks, as I showed in this week's sandbox video. We'll go straight over here, and then we'll curve it. We're gonna make it a nice large exhibit. We're just gonna stuff it full of herbivores, you know? I think that's a nice welcome to the park, a lot of herbivores. Oh wait, what did I just say? I'm gonna use rocks. I don't know if that's gonna freak out the guests. I don't think so, because the, the gates or the, the proper fence is at the start, so I think it should be fine. Did I get a notification about this yet? Oh, I probably did, didn't I? Can you please show us the size of the sandboxes and how many? Uh, I can't right now, who, uh, Christian Kerr. Uh, large appetite, I relate to that. Um, oh, I'm looking for a plus, there you go. I can't show you all of them right now because that means hopping out of this and then we have to reload and all of that stuff. I can show you this map. Uh, before I show you, if you haven't seen this map, if you haven't seen this map, it's gonna make you angry. I got really, I got genuinely angry when I first saw it. I, I can't lie because, okay, let me, let me walk you through this experience, right? So you come in like that and it's like, wow, it looks so cool. But then realization is starting to dawn on you. Hmm, those little rock outcroppings, those look very steep. Can we edit that? And the answer is no, we can't. <laughs> hey, Trauma Child, thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, Evo, I'd like to see a Spino, but with an alternate skin. I don't know if I have alternate skins for um, the large carnivores, but I'll try for you. Also, enjoy your hug. And Binks, thank you so much. Binks says hi from Brazil. Can you please say... Uh, I don't know how that's pronounced. Is it Salve or is it Salve Brazil? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I barely speak English, Binks. Uh, please, I'm, I, I apologize. <laughs> but you get the uh, the yellow clip. <laughs> Ian Malcolm having the time of his life. So yeah, you come in and you think this map is beautiful, but then you look at the map view and it's... Um, well, what's a particularly holy cheese? Because uh, that's what this is. It's full of holes. Oh my god. It's like the dinosaur genomes before they added the frog DNA. It's full of holes. Oh my god. I'm just having I'm just having a full-on realization. Oh god, I thought I accidentally clicked on release instead of airlift. <laughs> you have no idea how often I've done that. You have no idea. Emmentaler, yes, that is a particularly holy cheese. Uh, hold on, who said that? Who said that? Captain Stroon, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Stroon. You're a cheese connoisseur right there. Okay, let's place these. Only two, unfortunately. Uh, I'm gonna put the water up front to basically force their hand and get them to move over here. 
So we're gonna do... What are we gonna do? I think I'm gonna do just a little... Little little puddle. Little, little puddle thing. Um... Yeah, so the focus of this live stream is really just gonna... We're not gonna be pumping out just as many dinosaurs as possible. It's really gonna focus on just making the individual exhibits look great, making the guest areas look great. Uh, this exhibit is not finished. Let me do my rock thing. Love a good rock. You know that. If you've been with the channel, you know that. Uh, let's turn off random rotation. That'll be helpful. And uh, we're just going to place a couple of these. And we'll fill in the blanks with other rocks, don't worry. To make it look more natural. But I don't want to have a fence uh, go all the way across. Because that's just silly. Because, you know, n unless a dinosaur wants to commit suicide and run off the cliff, which I'm hoping <laughs> they wouldn't want to do. Okay, let's... Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go for a different rock. Let's use big rocks, though. We're making haste over here. For this one, I can turn on random rotation, actually. There. Now, since it's right up against the edge of the buildable area anyway... According to the paperwork I have in front of me. Yes, thank you, Cabot. I know. Its long neck meant it probably liked to feed on the taller branches of trees and such. At least that's what it says. Guess we'll find out, huh? Uh, like I said, because it's right at the edge of the buildable area anyway, I don't think they'll be able to escape even if I leave it at this. I'm just gonna add some smaller rocks to make it a little bit more natural. There. Making it natural. Hold on, folks. I have definitely learned this week during my battle against the gaming beaver. It's made it, like, abundantly apparent. I can only do one thing at a time. And that's, that's a scary realization to have about yourself. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Good news is about uh, Sandbox. You don't need the ranger team to do their little checks. You have the information you need. Uh, they want ground fiber. I don't think... Is that correct? Hold on. Let me go into sandbox settings for a second. Um, didn't I turn that off? Hold on. Let me first... Uh, all dinosaurs can't starve. Uh, dinosaur comfort. Setting this to off will set dinosaur comfort to 100% all the time. Okay, so it's off. So the comfort should be 100%, right? Hey, Ty Gaming No or T Gaming No, thank you so much for that super chat. That's an orange one, so that's. You're crazy, son. I'm to death. There you go. <laughs> I want to see the Mosasaurus. Oh, yes, we should add the Mosa to the list. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, lagoons are going to be tricky uh, in this one, because it's a really weird map. I mean, yeah, okay, comfort is at 100%. But they do still want ground fiber. Is it going to starve if I don't give it the ground fiber, you think? Probably, huh? Let's focus that around the... Uh, around this. Because I really don't want to have to stuff it full of uh, ground fiber and leafy climbers and all that stuff. Because, you know, we're in a desert. Let's be real over here, okay? Let's be real. There, I guess we can go a little bit like this. A little bit back here. Yeah. <gasps> They're so cute though. Look at them. Yeah, uh, that skin preview. I don't know. I don't see it. <laughs> I, d I don't see it. <laughs> okay. Uh, we should get started on another herbivore. We can't... We can't throw carnivores in there. That's not going to work. So give a suggestion for a herbivore you want to have thrown in with the Amargosaurus. And while that incubates, we can continue with the decoration. 
of the exhibit. <clears throat> uh let's see uh hubert i see hubert say Iranosaurus. i just unlocked that today did i or was that no it was today yeah um we're just gonna modify them for giggles um here see this looks cool but i really don't think it works that way seven beakers all right, get to it, boys. And in the meantime, we can uh, we can continue decorating. So I feel like this little water area needs a rock. Everybody needs a rock. Like that, beautiful. Look at how closely together you can get them. Okay, someone said something. Hold on. Yeah, and that was a lie. <laughs> someone said you can still place rocks even when it says obstructed. That's a lie. <laughs> It don't work like that, unfortunately. Oh, this is kind of a fun rock. There. I always like to just, just check the viewing thing. Like that bush right there, that's bothering me. Oh man, they really, 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 really need to bring in the uh, individually placeable trees, don't they? I mean, come on. Come on. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. There, I meant to do that. Yeah, I like that better. Oh, I saw a super chat. I'm so sorry. Uh, T Gaming Note, along with Tylosaurus and Lyplurodon, the list is growing. Uh... Tylo and Lyplurodon. Obviously, the marine reptiles are very, very popular in the game right now. As they should be. I mean, we've waited a long time. We deserve those. Um, I think I should do something with shops over here. So what I think I'm gonna do is do... That. And maybe go straight from there. That's not a lot of space, though. But I think, I think we can make it work. Oh, it's a little... Uh, <laughs> uh, we don't like that. We like flat. What did I just do? Hold on, let me turn this on for a second. Oh, no, looks good. Okay. It looks like some sort of weird hieroglyphic. <laughs> We're gonna fill this in with the decorations and stuff. Don't worry about that. Let me actually focus on chat a little bit. When in doubt, make a circle. Or, no, we went next level with this one, Terra McAvoy. We went with an oval. <laughs> Aren't you proud of me? I'm branching out. <laughs> I'm using all new kinds of shapes. Isn't it great? I'm pretty sure the uh, synthesis is done. Yeah. Let's just make all of them. It's fine. They can't die anyway. Seven... Oh, wait. I'm looking for the plus... Let's get another dinosaur on the go, guys. Now that I'm here anyway. Uh, anybody have another herbivore that they wanna that they wanna throw in there? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Something something with the Arano and the Amargosaurus. <clears throat> uh oh god, it's going so fast. Okay, I'm just gonna stop somewhere. Ah, Dynomation, Homolocephaly, that's what it's gonna be. That's a good suggestion. I love homolocephaly. Uh, the H. I know the alphabet. There you go. <laughs> the dinosaur's chosen, <laughs> please. As soon as I pick a dinosaur, I know that you guys are a little bit behind me, but as soon as I pick a dinosaur, please, for the sake of the moderators, uh, stop the suggestions. There will be plenty of opportunities to suggest dinosaurs. Let's see what I have for the homocephaly. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. This looks kind of cool. This looks kind of cool, but I mean, it, it doesn't really work that way, though. Uh, bigger. Shazam. Okay. Let me continue. Uh, let me actually... Aw. Oh, they're, they're actually happy. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, not, not too shabby. Oh, pat myself on the back over there. 
Hey, Thai Gaming, no, you're super generous. Thank you so, so much for all of the support. Also, what's your favorite land, air, and water dinosaur? Mine are T Rex, Pteranodon, and Mosaurus. Uh, let me play this clip while I think. <laughs> that was not enough time for me to think. Uh, I think for the uh, marine, I will say Mosaurus. Uh, it's a pretty basic answer, but I mean. I mean, I can't lie. I mean, I think what I want to do is maybe create a little valley over here. Uh, so Mosasaurus for the Marines. Land. I think I'm for the moment I'm going to stick with uh, Spinosaurus. Because it was my favorite in the Oh, Jesus. It was my favorite in the first game. And I haven't really uh, spent that much time with the dinosaurs, actually. If you've played the game yourself then you'll know that you're so busy with stuff that you don't really have time to look at your dinosaurs. So I don't really know which one I particularly like. I mean, a little bit of dimension over here. That's nice, right? Yeah, I'm gonna raise that up. A little bit of a mountainous moment. Oh, let's use the different terrain paints. Little rocky rock. Rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat. Stop it. <laughs> don't dip the boat off. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Pretty sure, yeah. Uh, oh, we got a lot of them. So we're gonna make a lot. We're just gonna make, we're just gonna make all of them. I don't care. We're gonna do it. We have the technology. What am I looking at? Uh, here. My ranger team just ran over a dead goat and went flying 40 feet in the air, says Cholo. That's hilarious. During my campaign playthrough, I accidentally hit a, G uh, hit a compi with the jeep and it just flipped the jeep onto its nose and it stayed perfectly balanced. I mean, those are some pretty dang powerful compies that they have in, uh... Yosemite Valley. <laughs> I mean, this feels like it needs a rock. What I do really like, by the way, did you notice? It doesn't do anything to the terrain. See, you can place it on a hill. It does nothing to the terrain. I hate that placement though, hold on. <laughs> but it does nothing to the terrain. Unlike in the first game, if you did that... The entire area around it would flatten, and it was annoying, and it messed with stuff, and just no more. No more. I really feel like this game... I've said it before, I'll continue to say it, there's room for improvement, there's missed opportunities, but I do really... I, f I, feel, I feel seen, okay? I really feel like Frontier has been paying attention to the critiques that the first game garnered. They made some new mistakes. But <laughs> I really feel like they did they they did their best, and I hope that uh, it's going to be even better in the future. That's really what I want for this game to just keep getting better. That's a very random rock right there. I think I want to do a viewing platform over here. Oh, my dinosaurs already. Oh, sorry, sorry, communism. Our dinosaurs. <laughs> uh, ooh. Hmm. I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for this one. I feel like it... Ah, uh, nah, no. Nah, it looks too utilitarian, actually. Looking at it up close. I'm gonna do this one. There, we'll put it right there. Put it there, partner. Alright. Let's get more dinosaurs. Alright, first the Uranosaurus. Let's see what this skin looks like. It looked cool in the preview, but. Alright, and the Homolo. Simply. Oh, we have to wait. I hate waiting. <laughs> hey, Iron Leviathan, thank you so, so much, mate. You're so, so generous. I had a hilarious glitch when I tipped so far in the Ranger vehicle and proceeded to do a quintuple roll over one of the fences. That is great. I'm so sorry, Ivory. I am so, so sorry. Uh, it looks like it's time for slow mode, folks. So 
Let me do that. Uh, if I remember where. I always forget. Okay. Focus. Oh, I found it. Uh, I'm gonna keep slow mode pretty low, as in a fast kind of slow mode. Uh, I'm so sorry about that, uh, Ivory. I'm so sorry I didn't notice. Uh, where am I? Here you go. Alright, slow mode is on. It's every 30 seconds. I hope you guys don't mind too much, but... You know, otherwise uh, the moderators are having a having a tough time. If it's still too fast, we're gonna slow it down. But I don't want to immediately start with like a minute or sixty seconds. It's a trial. Oh Jesus Christ! It's okay. We're the helicopters are just busy at the moment. Um, I think I also want to do some vegetation in the valley. Maybe some of the ornamental uh, stuff. Let's do that. Dinosaurs don't give a rat's bottoms about this stuff, but it looks nice. This one's more my speed. The Aranosaurus is named after the Arabic word for courage, which is kind of my thing. This dinosaur is easy to care for. <clears throat> wants a comfortable place to eat and rest and to be left alone <laughs> Sound like mm. anyone you know? is there a sandbox settings to turn off that because it's quite annoying but i mean come on it's a nice skin don't get me wrong it's a nice skin but that's not what i ordered waiter waiter <laughs> this is not what i ordered <laughs> uh yeah so that's great i guess um I think it's gonna need more vegetation, actually. Oh, let's oh let's do some of these. I wish it was more dense. I'd love to have like a little dense patch of uh, cacti. That's pretty cool, though. I feel like it needs a rock right there. <laughs> Right there. Uh, let's do this one. Like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, I'm really missing my individually placeable trees. Because I would love to just... Let me see if I can make something happen. Not really the appropriate kind. Oh, we'll do these. It's a little weird, maybe, but I want to just break up that skyline a little bit. I guess that's okay. Can we fly out the homocephaly yet, you think? Yes. At some point during this livestream, I will accidentally click on release dinosaurs instead of airlift. It'll happen, it'll be chaos, we'll survive. Ooh, I don't think I have a ranger station. Let's actually preemptively put that down. In preparation of disaster. Over here. Is this a ranger station? No, I think I selected uh, expedition. Yeah. Here, we'll do uh, this one. There you go. I Leviathan, man. You are you are so, so generous. Thank you so much, man. Uh, let's see. Yellow. <laughs> also, my personal favorites are Acrocanthosaurus, Tylosaurus, and Cerodactylus. Naturally, those are all suggestions. I'll add them to the list. Tylo is on there, but I'll add Acro. And... Sierra, or actually, I think in the game it's they pronounce it very differently from how I always pronounce it, so I'm probably mispronouncing it. That's a thing I do. Oh no, come on, it's a little bit higher, man. Man, I don't want that. Fine, okay, no decorative water. That, that's really gonna limit my creativity. <laughs> Um, OK, 
Okay, we'll do some of this. It's so empty. I probably made this circular thing a little too big. Okay, so we're sort of breaking up the uh, the eye line with some rocks in the middle. Dr. Kajal Dua. I'd ask what brings you here, but I'm not sure I'd get an answer. <laughs> I don't want an answer, Kajal. You can stay quiet. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So they're just gonna keep popping in and saying things. Ooh, another note of improvement. The ground shake? We don't need that. I also had someone actually comment that the way the ground shakes is very bad for console players because the, uh, the controller is gonna vibrate. And that's going to eat up battery life. So if you're building a sandbox park and your controller keeps vibrating, uh, your battery's going to run out in no time. I don't think I can fit large. Oh, I can fit large. Look at that. Okay. Nice. All right. So I'm going to place it over here and then we'll do a little seating area. Let's do it with a different color. Here, we'll do that, and we'll do... Can we do this? Ooh, ooh, yikes. Ooh, yikes. Uh, hold on. How about we do it like that? Yeah, baby! Path art is back! <laughs> it's, uh, let's call it minimalist and move on, okay? Um, drinks. I actually feel like I wanna... Do I, though? No, because that's clearly the front, so... Okay. And then we'll do... I feel like I probably want to do a path in between there. So let me do that first. Do the thick one. You know, we, we can go places. You need to think about expansion. And then we'll place that one. Oh no, what just happened over... What just... What, what did you do? Game! What did you do? That's not nice. Oh boy. Oh, that's gonna give me nightmares. You know how I am, people. You know how I am. Alright. Let's, uh, mess around with, uh, with this. Oh, wait, hold on. First, we're gonna look at one of the homilocephalies, see what the skin did. What did the skin do? Speed. Okay. I guess kinda the colors do make sense, but this is basically just a skin from the first game, I think? Right. Hold on. No, 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 no. Efficiency. We need to start on another dinosaur. Let's do it over here. Alright, folks. Another herbivore. I uh, feel like it might be the last herbivore th for this exhibit. And then we're going to move into a carnivore exhibit. Uh, to uh, mix things up. So give a final suggestion for now for a herbivore. Uh, Marcus Groom says Iguanodon. There you go, and it's right in front of my face, too. I love that for me. <laughs> okay, let's go with no pattern. Can I do that? No pattern. Wait, what What just happened? Oh, I see how it works. I see how it works. Okay. So we'll do that. See, this is the skin. Uh, this is the color that the Megalosaurus... Oh. If, so if I do this, it might turn out to be bright green, just like the Megalosaurus from the thumbnail. So then we'll do this. That looks kind of cool. That looks kind of cool. Uh, nine. See, we're getting into uh, more complicated territory over here. Okay, let's mess with this stuff for a second. Are we gonna sell crabs, though? 
Authentic sushi. Oh, excuse me. Uh, you know what? I like the idea of selling crepes or crepes. I think it's pronounced in uh, American. Mm, here, this is what I want. Uh, that's not right. <laughs> Hold on. Sign. Donut ice cream. Uh... This is false advertisement! I guess a crepe... I guess a crepe can be vegan, right? So I think... <laughs> Are they phasing through the doors? I didn't even notice that. Hold on. Yeah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> um... I like this. This is not effective. Uh, love it. Kind of love this, to be honest. Nope. That's cute too. No. 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 I like this. Uh, obviously we're gonna change the colors, but I like that. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this. I'm not gonna overthink it. Uh, what's this? That's this one. I wanna make it... I kinda wanna make it look like wood. Like that! Yeah, I like that. Okay. Uh, apply. Oh god. Uh, is this this? I think so. I actually really like this light blue. I'm gonna leave it at that. Oh, I like it. Alexander Korea says, I wish that Frontier had modeled the insides or at least half the doors open. I mean, they did... Actually, they did do something with the inside. It's not modeled. It's like a 2D thing that's made to look 3D. You can you can see when you move around that it's, <laughs> it's an optical illusion. Uh, but they should have just had the doors open. And do a little bit of the interior, then have that cast a shadow, and then they just disappear into the shadow realm. I think that would have been better. Let's decorate this little section over here. There. What else do we have? Uh, that's the wrong thing. Here you go. I like symmetry, so I'm just gonna do that. And then do some tables and chairs. I honestly don't think I'll be using the ones with the closed parasol. Because why would I? Stop shaking! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of cute. I know, it's such a small thing, but I do feel like it makes a big difference. I like it. I like it. Uh, Jesus, where am I going? Uh, not a fan of this at all. Because, you know, when you're building sandbox parks, um, you just get, you get really caught up in it. You get caught up in the creative process. And the fact that you have to pay double attention to what's happening in your incubation labs is really distracting. They, I... They really need to change that from my perspective. Uh, obviously, I'm still gonna play Sandbox. I'm still gonna love it, but... The the user experience could do with a, uh, a big upgrade, in my humble opinion. What can I do over here? I feel like it needs something. Are the Jeep tours in this game? Yes, they are. Um, as the Gaming Beaver pointed out, <laughs> they're not the official Jeeps. They're also not the official Ford Explorers. Uh, but in essence, yes, those are in the game. Uh, the truck tour as well, by the way. Is this one gonna fit? Yes, I feel like I should just go for it then. 
That's that's a random thing I just did. Um, I think I'm gonna fill this up with another path color. Oh, too close. Still too close. Let's do this one. There. Uh, oh god. And uh, what should we do? Let's do the big one. I do like the plants that are in here. I'm gonna center it, I think. People, get away, people. <laughs> I just made. Oh my god, I buried them alive. Oops. I'm just gonna do three of these, actually. Because I like them. And I think I'm gonna do flags in between. I'm still learning, okay? Don't be harsh. No, I'm gonna do lights. Lights. No, don't want. <laughs> Serves you right, my dude. No, it's not centered. <laughs> no, no, don't do it. No, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine that this space is bigger than that space. You're not gonna cry about it. <laughs> Why am I like this? I actually feel like I want to do something dramatic. Maybe? Could that potentially be cool? So that when you walk out here, it's really once you come over here that it's like, whoa, holy hell, where am I? You know, that's that sort of experience. Could be, could be good. Now, if we had individually placeable trees, people are screaming. Why are they screaming? I think they're screaming because it is indeed, uh... You can see that the dinosaurs, they're, they're... They're not moving beyond it. But the guests are aware that the fence is not closed entirely around it. They can tell. Holy, what are you doing? Stop! No, stop! No! I didn't mean what I said about your skin, I'm sorry! Oh, thank god. <laughs> I talked him off a ledge. Are you done? Almost. Let's actually just speed this up so they can be ready. <clears throat> Human sacrifices for the dinos. Indeed, Makai Richardson. Dinos above people. I mean... <laughs> I mean... No. Nah. Well, some people. Some dinosaurs, some people. People are screaming because you are burying people alive. <laughs> I love that Dylan's world of YouTube. <laughs> That's great. Hey, good year, guy. Welcome to the stream. I loved your Jurassic World Evolution challenge mode with Beaver. Thank you so much. I loved it too. It was so much. Fun. Where are you going? Oh, he's he's. No, okay, it's good. I'm gonna extend this fence out a little bit. Yeah, I had so much fun with it. It was insane. I'm George Lambert. Hi, Lambert. I just want to remind you that the safety of remind our you. Our dinosaurs. Well, that's the job for mine. Okay, yeah, pretty cool. This dinosaur is large, bulky, and has a stubborn disposition. It's called the Iguanodon. Please don't do the little thing every single time. It's annoying. The humans will become the dinosaur slaves. <laughs> That's what Ian Malcolm was afraid of. Oh, Adam. Yes, that is a good suggestion. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I know where I'm going. Here you go. Uh, audio. Voice. Vo there you go. Adam coming through there with a good suggestion. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Actually. Settings. Audio. Oh, mute non-voice audio. No, that's not. Okay, but this this works. I mean, I'm assuming. Right. Thank you so much. That's a great suggestion. Um. Yeah, so we'll be working on our first carnivore exhibit. I think I'm going to put that over here. This is just going to be an exhibit, I think. And it's going to have a tour, maybe. 
Hold on, what am I working with? I do also really like the idea of putting a hotel like right on this edge. But we also have this edge. This is gonna this is gonna have a hotel, this is gonna be an exhibit. Yes. Since it's gonna have a carnivore, I am gonna fence all the way around it. So I think I'm gonna do it from there. Hold on, before I continue. Let's actually get started on the carnivore in question. No idea what it's gonna be, but one of you guys does. Uh, Alright, let me hop in. It's gonna be a carnivore. Big, small, doesn't matter. It does have to be a land carnivore. Uh, I'll also get started on the lagoons as well. Alright, just gonna close my eyes. And wait a second. And open. And... Oh god, oh, so fast. Changju source, there you go. Uh... Yes, beautiful. I got this today. I've never actually looked at it. I released it. I looked away. <laughs> I was so focused on unlocking dinosaurs. It was crazy. But I really wanted to have as much as possible. Um, this looks very cool. I'm gonna go with that. I like big contrast skins. I'm sorry if you disagree. If you disagree, this, this is gonna be an annoying stream, I think. <laughs> Because I like going for contrast. What was I saying? I was saying something. Alright, I wanted to unlock as much as possible, not just for this stream, but also, if you've been here for a little while, you know that uh, I promised you a funny video for uh, 69k subscribers, and we did get to 69k subscribers, we're actually beyond that now. Um, and I need as many dinosaurs as possible for that video. So I just had to get cracking today so I can I can make that video next week, hopefully. Yeah, I should be able to. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that video. It's um, it's gonna be Q&A mixed with uh, truth or dare kind of punishment for me. It's, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be funny. It's gonna be embarrassing for me, but it's gonna be funny for you. So I'll make that sacrifice and I'll make it happily. Maybe this should just be a massive tour. Maybe this should just be a massive tour. Yes, I'm gonna do that. Uh, we are gonna end it over there, but we're gonna continue over here. There. It's gonna be, I think, two separate exhibits, so I think I'm gonna do like a fence over here. Hey, comic! Thank you so much for that super chat. Thank you. Yahoo! Yahoo! Eva loved your five star challenge with Beaver. Thank you so so much. I loved it too, as you can imagine. I've been a fan of his channel for so so long. I'm actually having a change of heart about something, guys. Hold on. What I'm gonna do, we're gonna make a special tour. So we're gonna do that and gonna get rid of some of this. I'm gonna put an aviary back here and then the tour is gonna go through the aviary. You feel me? You feel me, you know what I mean. Uh, here. It is difficult for me to gauge how they connect. Because the arrow... See, the arrow was pointing right... Okay, so if I angle it right towards me, right? But it doesn't work that way. Uh, let me start from the other side. Let me figure this out, folks. Come on, then. I deleted it, right? Yeah, there you go. Hey, Daniel Berta, thank you so much for that cute sticker. Yahoo! Yahoo! Let me try it from this side. See, it's so difficult. It's too difficult for me. I'm gonna... Do that. Now, it is gonna need a hatchery, but... What I want to do... 
Lagoon aviaries. Put that over there. Um, God, this is such a difficult map, guys. Can we bring the fence up to that thing? No, we can't. Okay. I'm gonna follow it closely, though. There, and the tour is gonna go in over there. That's gonna annoy me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's gonna hurt me too much. There. Okay, and the tour is gonna go all the way over there. Yes. Oh, what did I do? Changjusaurus! You need to incubate. I'm gonna make two. Wait, hold on. What am I looking at? Right, the plus. There. Yes. Yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, that's a long trek, though, isn't it? I had to pick this map, didn't I? And honestly, it was just for the joke. It was honestly purely for the haha, this is sand joke. <laughs> that was a stupid decision. That was very stupid. There, and we'll smooth right there. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take this path over there. This is probably not gonna be able to fit two tour gates. Hey, Garmic, thank you so, so much. Hello again, could you put Tropiognathus in the aviary? Um, I also have Sierra to uh, get to. I don't know if they can live together in sandbox. Can they? I don't think so. There. I think that should be able to fit two tour gates. Okay, so attractions... Um, yeah, let's go for the uh, Ford Explorer tour. I'm gonna put that over there. I think they can make that. There. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. You know what? I actually didn't check. Hold on. Can tour tracks cross each other? No, that's a shame. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. And do a little loop de loop. Wait, obstruct it. Hold on. <clears throat> this is supposed to work though, right? How does this work? I've never actually done this before. Does anybody know? Can anybody give me assistance? Hmm. Put it on the round parts. Okay. Who said that? Psycho animations. Thank you. Put it on the round parts. That goes against my... There! Oh, you're brilliant. Okay. That was not necessarily the plan with the gates. <laughs> So I think I'm going to need a little bit more space. Hopefully that'll cut it. Edit. Okay. Going towards the round part. Jesus freaking Christ. Too sharp. Oh god, freaking damn it. Alright. Now, if I remember correctly, we can place fences over. Oh, it, oh, it's a limited. Okay, so it's like a limited number of things that you can put it through. I gotcha. I gotcha. No, no, don't, 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 don't do that. Because obviously I need to be able to, uh, so let's turn it around over here. Because I'm afraid I won't be able to put in water otherwise. Okay, can we go out there? Yes, we can. Alright, alright. 
Moving along. Making haste. Whee! Okay, and what we should be able to do is go back in. There you go. Nice frontier. Well done. Not too shabby. Well done, guys. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. We're back in business! I'm uh, gonna stay close on this side so we can do stuff on the other side. I don't know what kind of stuff. Just stuff. There. People are gonna hate that walk. They're gonna hate it. And I will make them suffer and pay for it. There. Alrighty. Sorry, that took way longer <laughs> than anticipated. I'm so sorry. I've been ignoring you all this time. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was a struggle. Wow, we do have, uh, well, at the moment, almost a thousand viewers. Thanks so much for joining. That's the power of Jurassic World Evolution 2. Uh, and thank you for uh, getting close to 600 likes. That's absolutely amazing. Uh, a like really helps out the channel. So if you want to give it a like, if you are enjoying it, then I would really appreciate it if you uh, do hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more content, I'm live every Saturday. Ooh, this is a promising skin. Hey, they're muted. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm live every Saturday, so if you want to come hang out with me, subscribe for that. And in the meantime, there's just a ton of Jurassic World Evolution 2 content. You had to sit right on the track, huh? But this is a cool skin. <gasps> oh my god, I love him. Oh my god, I love him. Cute. Hey, beautiful. Oh, I love these guys. I know they're girls. Let's do- oh god. What I think I want to do is maybe make like a- uh, do it like that. Pretend that it's connected, you know? Like that. Yeesh. Now the problem is, okay, so the problem is, this is now a huge exhibit, right? There's nothing else I can put in here in terms of dinosaurs. Because they'll kill it. That's a problem. Like, that's a big problem with sandbox right now. Okay. Uh, let's make another carnivore, guys. Actually, it doesn't have to be a carnivore. It can be whatever, but it's going to be adjacent to the changju Saurus exhibit. That's a nice Pinocchio Rex. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kimberly says Spinosaurus. Let's do the Spinosaurus. That's gonna be a dangerous tour. Wow. <laughs> 13. I'm also gonna... Where am I going to put my lagoon? I think this is a good place for a lagoon, maybe? Or over here? Maybe over here. Maybe this should be a lagoon. Um, this is going to be a struggle bus for me again. But I'm going to make it work. In water, Jesus Christ. It's a lagoon! <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Let me actually flatten the whole thing. Okay, so I really want to put a hotel, like, right on that edge. I think that's pretty cool. But then the rest of it is gonna be dedicated to... Well, mostly dedicated to Lagoon. Let me place the hotel first, so I know what I need. In terms of space. We'll do a big one. A BIG ONE! There, that's kind of cool. Do fancy path. Um, are we gonna do something fancy with the fancy path? I think we should. We'll make a little square. Because why not? I think that's a square. If I do it like that. 
there. I'm gonna do a little asymmetrical thing. Wild, I know. We can do some shops around there. That should be Lagoon. Uh, and I need a monorail. You know what, let's put the monorail over here. Because this is unusable space otherwise anyway. Like, right. There. Where am I going? You know what, let's go the long way around, if I can. Yes. Where am I? Oh, there you go. Uh, oh, let's connect it over there. Oh, another thing I hate. <laughs> this takes forever. I'm going to speed it up, but it takes forever. All right. Yeah, and this should just be one big lagoon. Hey, Arcmaster, thank you so, so much. Have a Yahoo. Yahoo. Thanks so much for joining the chat. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Hi, Dino Squad. Welcome. Because your evolution square. Uh, uh, technically, the square just refers to uh, a public square as in a public space. But I get it. I get it. I, I, I made my own bed. Now I have to lie in it. Mr. Furge, thank you so, so much. Ayo, what's the square doing? The square is uh, doing what she likes. Playing in her sandbox. Yahoo. I Leviathan, thanks so, so much, mate. Hey, Evo, I've got a skin suggestion for you. Ooh, getting into the specifics. If you add Nasuto to the park, give it the... Ma oh, my bunny just went crazy. Give it the mangrove forest skin. I'm gonna need to write that down. Hold on a second. Mangrove forest. And paparana. Papurana. She'll have a dark green body, tan belly, and bright yellow green markings. She's super pretty. Oh, and I just scrolled down and I see no official. Also, a little super uh, super chat over there. I have a Yahoo. 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 Thanks so much for all of the support on the channel, guys. Thank you so, so much. Also, all of like the new subscribers and obviously everyone who leaves a like. You're all awesome. Well, we got one Spinosaurus. Okay. And she's going to be thirsty. <laughs> Uh, the plus. There, let me get back to my lagoon building. Um, here. I'm still getting used to stuff. <laughs> lagoon. Oh my god, this is way smaller than I anticipated. I mean, the dinosaurs are going to be happy anyway, right? So it's not, it's not like a big problem. <gasps> I love it! Oh, that's... Uh, we can't do any shops, but I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> that's way bigger than I anticipated. That's what she said. Aviary, Lagoon. Let's put that on this side. Yeah. Can't do any shops, but... Let's do this this path, actually, because this is not for the guests. This is just, like, maintenance. And now the viewing thing. Where is that? Where is that? Here. Oh, come on. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I can work with that. I can work with that. Just got to redo this a little bit. There, and we'll do... Here, we'll fill, we'll like fill this in a little bit. It's gonna annoy me that that's not flat. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> God, it's like a meteor hit the earth all over again. <laughs> Hey, Mr. First, thank you so, so much, mate. Yeah, dinosaurs are cool. 
But have you ever supported a genuine creator? Thank you so much, Mr. Ver. That's a great compliment. Thank you. Enjoy your hug. It's well deserved. Thank you so much, man. I think I'm just gonna fill this up, but I am gonna like put decorations in there. I'm gonna do something with that. Just something. It's gonna be a mystery. And this begs for something like this. What I actually want to do. Oh, I hear the water sloshing in the uh, lagoon. That's kind of cool. It's a little bit ASMR esque. Oh. Obstructed. Okay, no, never mind. You can squash my hopes and dreams, why don't you? I'll just put this one like I did. There, so it's like, a, you know, it opens up. Oh yeah, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Let's put a light. Here, a little light. It's, 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 it's something, right? Kayla Deaton, thank you so, so much. Have your hug first. Uh, watching while trying to hit five stars on Jurassic Park Chaos Theory, it is taking me far too long. I know exactly what you mean. I dove in with Jurassic Park 3, first and foremost. I just posted that video today, actually. And that was very short. Do I hear people screaming? <laughs> uh, so when I went into Jurassic Park Chaos Theory mode, I was half expecting... Uh, it to be like maybe an hour max. It was really difficult. I really struggled with um, unlocking the T-Rex and actually <laughs> funny story. I uh, like I got early access, right? But I couldn't I couldn't figure out how to unlock the T-Rex in uh, Oh, I shouldn't get into too many, but I couldn't figure out how to unlock well, I already, I already said it. I couldn't figure out how to unlock the T-Rex, so I actually had to watch the Gaming Beaver's video on that to see how he did it. And it was really simple. I was just freaking blind. <laughs> so I learned two key things from the Gaming Beaver in the past week. <laughs> the other one being, open your freaking shelters. <laughs> It's not perfect, but I'll take it. Oh, that's not connected. That's an issue, isn't it? That's not how the cookie crumbles. Probably should have done something in between that, actually. Uh, let's connect this. Oh, no, 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 no. Curvy. There you go. Ooh, turn around. Are you done? Yes! Oh my god, I didn't take- I see Mr. Virgil's super chat and I just realized I didn't- Where am I going? I didn't take care of my Changshu Saurus exhibit. It's super barren. I mean, they have water. Do they, uh, they still attack goats? Right? Yeah, because combat, you can't turn that off. So they, they do eat the goats. Eat the goat! Oh, no, don't eat the people! Actually, you know what? That would be kind of funny. Maybe you should. Oh, yeah, but Mr. Virch, you uh, you still have your Yahoo. Yahoo. Who needs hopes when you've got a Changju source? And we have two. Ain't, it, ain't that great? I'm a do... Little... Little, little mountain thingy over there. Not really a mountain. You know what I mean, though. There, we're just obscuring the fence a little bit. What might actually be cool, hold your horses, if we put a couple of viewing platforms over here. I mean, I think it, I think that technically works. Here, one over here. And one right here. I think that's kind of cute. So more people can enjoy the Changju <gasps> Ooh, Oh, she's in, she's in. Oh, it looks so 
good look at that texture. <gasps> I didn't do the alternate skin! Ah, oh, dang it. Now I have to make another one. Ooh, are they gonna kill each other? Are they? Do I have different skins? I should, yeah. Uh, let's see what no pattern looks like. Let's make a green Spinosaurus, no pattern, and see what that looks like. Thir oh, 13, there. Let's actually make uh, those Nasudos with the specific skin. Okay, so... I mean, assuming I have those skins even... Oh, Mangrove Forest. And Paparana. Special request from Iron Leviathan. Let's get it on the go. And also, oh right, uh, I need to make this, but this still needs to be connected. I'm gonna put a station there. Right in the middle of nowhere. Don't quite know what to do with that section, but I just need it for this at the moment. Oh god, I hate it when that happens. I love my pillars. I don't want to get rid of the pillars. There, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go down the list, okay? So the first uh, flying reptile that was requested was the Sierra Dactylus. So that's what I'm gonna go with. And I don't... Maybe someone in chat knows, but I don't think they can live together with the Tropiognathus. I'm thinking. It's so cute. Alright, so Sierra Dactylus. Let's modify, see what happens. Oh, can they live with Tapajara? Bunny! Don't do that. Oh god, he's going mental right now. I don't- oh, so Fifi, I don't have the Indominus Rex yet. I haven't unlocked it. I'm so sorry. I really tried today. Uh, that looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Or red with... This looks kind of cool. I'm gonna do that. Hey, Bancraft HD! Thank you so, so much, mate! Yahoo. Are you going to install mods for Jurassic World Evolution 2? Not for a very, very, very long time. I think I'm going to do the same approach as what I did with the first game. I'm just going to enjoy it the way Frontier intended it. Um, and, you know, they're going to be putting out DLCs and stuff like that and updates. Uh, so I don't want to mess with that quite yet. But I think, you know, once the game has reached it, the end of its life cycle, that's probably when I'll start modding. But that could take... That could take years! <laughs> Well, hopefully that could take years. I mean, uh, we want the game to be supported for as long as possible, right? Alrighty, and the first marine reptile was Mosasaurus. So let's do that. Mosa. Does anyone know what a cool skin combination for the Mosa is? That looks kind of rad. I was kind of hoping we'd have something like red. I'm going to go with this. I'm just drawn to that contrast. I'm so simple. Oh, that's a lot. There you go. One millions! Hold on. Ooh. I kind of like that. Let's see, what I, let's see what I can fit here in terms of shops. We might have to go small or medium with it. Yeah, I can fit two mediums over here. Okay, so that's drink. Oh, shopping. Sorry, it was shopping. Okay, food. Terrain constraints. You freaking little liar. Oh, you little. Yeah, it's the border. 
the border is lighting up. Oh, that's kind of weird. Maybe small. Maybe small will fit. Nope, 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 nope. I don't want to do that, though. Oh, come the frick on. Come the frick on. Alright, so, uh, yeah, this is just gonna be uh, a whole lot of nothing. Or I should probably... I should probably just try to fix it differently. Let's uh, play to the whims of this game. You know what? Hold on. Do a little cute little roundabout section. There. And uh, let's just see what we can fit in there. Caleb and Jin, thank you. Jin? Jing? Sorry, I can't pronounce things. I'm so sorry. Can you add T-Rex, please? I'll put it on the list, Caleb and Jing. Yahoo! This is getting long. This is getting a little intimidating. Man! I guess I'll put something over here. Won't be able to fit two. Okay, we'll do it like that. So that was shopping. This is drink. And then we'll do food. It's not how I envisioned it. Not even close, but okay. Oh, you know what we can do? Or maybe not. Oh, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Love that. Get rid of that little appendix. Get rid of this little appendix. Let's get as close as possible. And this begs for a different path color. So we'll do that. I mean, it's something. It's not what I envisioned, but that's okay. We're rolling with the punches. A Shadow Swarm 999, thank you so, so much. Could you add Coelophysis at some point, possibly? The list is getting long and prosperous, folks. <laughs> I can't, uh, from now, I can't guarantee that all of the requests are gonna come in because it's, uh... How long have you been playing? Oh god, Jesus, is it already been an hour and a half? My god. I need to get a freaking move on. Um, the plus. Okay, so we're doing that. Uh, oh, my spino is uh, gonna be hungry, right? Oh no, that's turned off. Oh, they don't eat. That's right. They don't eat. I'm gonna put a feeder in anyway. Because I'm a generous, generous soul. We were gonna do another skin. I'm assuming that's... Uh, oh, Jesus, I forgot about that. 13. Oh, and then a pseudos. We'll just chuck those into the, uh, the first exhibit that we made at the start of the stream. Not even decorating! <laughs> uh, let's do that. Let's go for ornamental. Ooh, what is this? No, it doesn't look as special as it does over there. That's kind of nice, though. Oh, do these layer? No, they don't. Frontier! They need to layer. But I actually prefer how this breaks it up. Hold on. It's just not really generating enough of the cacti. Hey, thanks, Mr. Verge. Yahoo. You are all awesome. Let's go with uh, this coloration. Oh, let's go for my favorite rock. Wee. And let me let me turn it just right. 
I don't know why, but I just like it. I'm easily amused, okay? <laughs> we know this. Here, it's just gonna be a weird little rock formation right in the middle. I am missing my individually placeable trees so much. Just be so nice to put some stuff right there. The ground doesn't shake every single time. That's interesting. See, it didn't shake on the first one, but it it is shaking now. That's so weird. Isn't it? <laughs> of the many comments that I don't see, the one comment I do see is from uh, B for Aviation. I bet Evo won't see this. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> My brain works in mysterious ways. I want to raise this up, I think. I want to obscure that part of the tour from the uh, viewing galleries. So that's over here. <laughs> That's a very heavy Changshu source right there. Even the, the ground itself can't support it. Okay. Don't want my rain. No, not rangers. The uh, tour to go all mental over there. Let's whip out some rock. This is a really nice rock texture, actually. There. Could you add Lyplurodon or Ichthy? Uh, Lyplurodon is on the list. I'm not going to add anything to the list right now because I'm afraid we won't be able to make it. But I definitely want to do Lyplurodon. At the very least. How's my Moza doing? Maybe I should just do that. Get some speed going! I want to do something else. Uh, I think this map has even brighter sand. A little. It's not really what I had in mind. Let's do that, actually, because it looks a little wet. <gasps> the spino is sleeping! Eh! Aww! Cute little murder machine. Aww. I'm not the only one who thinks that's cute, right? Ooh, gee, ooh, uh, ooh. <laughs> that was abrupt. Okay, let's get the Nasudos out with uh, the specific skin. We got a lot of them in there. We'll look at those later, because I think... Nope. Nope. That's a negative, sir. That is a negative. Honestly, this section could use foliage as well. Why is the creepy music playing? Game, you're scaring me. Can you speak Dutch a little? Uh, let's see, Thijs <laughs> Hoof. If I speak Dutch, no one else is going to understand it, though. I do have a Dutch video planned. It's been requested many, many times, and I'll cave. Uh, I'm going to add subtitles for everyone else, but I'm going to do one video. It's going to be completely Dutch, and you can laugh at all of the weird <laughs> sounds that we have in our... Non-language, as people often say. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Don't worry about it. I wish we had some, uh, some logs and stuff like that. That would be nice. But the rocks do, they, they do good work. They do God's work. I appreciate them. They make a big difference, in my opinion. Uh, <gasps> yay, the Moses is done! Oh, I'm excited! Like, literally, I've been so focused on unlocking dinosaurs that you... I don't spend any time with my dinosaurs, so I think... I've seen this I've seen this in fast forward once, so let me actually do that. 
All right, we're gonna enjoy this, folks. I'll add a feeder right after this, don't worry. I'm excited! This is the first time I'm really, like, seeing it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that skin is looking cool. I like that um, it has a different camera angle every time, because I did just remember, I also played uh, Germany Challenge Mode. I don't know if it was the Mozo or the Tylo, but it had like this angle from below and it was so spooky. It has green lips. Hey, I can't zoom in more than this. That's weird. What happens if I do... Oh, I like this! Oh, this feels so epic! Oh my god, I love this. That is so cool. That is so, so cool. I want to do something, and I want to see what happens. Um... Because the thing is, right, combat is turned on. So if two big things that will fight each other... They'll fight, um, and they'll kill each other, but food is turned off, so they won't hunt. So maybe I can put in... Actually, I'm gonna do Ichthyo, because I think it makes more sense that the Moza is not able to catch up to the Ichthyosaurus, so I'm gonna do these guys. Hold on, no, no, let's play around with the skins. Uh, and see if if the Moza will go for them. I don't think so, because in my test, the Allosaurus and Albertosaurus... Oh, uh, sorry, Albertosaurus. They didn't go for the Struthiomimus. Actually, that's kind of cool. Let's go for that. I'm curious to see what happens. I'm curious about this. Let's look at the Nasuto. Oh, that is a very cool skin. Wow. Oh, wow. Whoa! I Leviathan, you came through with that suggestion. Wow! I'm gonna do more water in this one, because this is the Spino exhibit. Do something with the aviary, you're so right. Here, I'm gonna make that super narrow. Uh, I was working on the Cyrodactylus. We'll do them all. Oh, that was actually unnecessary. Ah, oh, it's a little faster that way. Okay, I'm gonna... Hold on, first. Feeder, 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 feeder. P Bunny, don't do that. I hear you. Okay, shark feeder. Oh, is this as close as we... Oh, let's do it like that. Very, very, very... Very cool. Love it. Uh, Yeah, so that's happening. Hey, I'm Leviathan, thank you so much and for that skin suggestion as well. It's really, really, really good. Now let's see. Ah, my second Spino is ready. Okay, so someone requested a Spino with an alternate skin and I, like it, like the doofus I am, did the basic skin, so... They might fight, I don't know. Oh, it, hey, it does require a status check. Well, that's a bummer. Um, That is a bummer. Ah, we'll just see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens. This is for science. Um, I'm gonna go fast forward again. Do something with the Spino exhibit. Marcelli Pop Lasky. Yes. The dinosaur. Oh, the Ceratodactylus is done. Hold on, though. Bunny, don't. I think I want to do that. Because, you know, it's found in Africa, so it makes a little bit of sense. I don't know what palm trees specifically, but this is like the desert look. I don't know what I'm saying. Ooh. Hold on a second. Oh, very cool. Oh, I like this. Oh, she like... She like it a lot. She like... That's a, that's a nice Spino. <laughs> Ooh, right up next to the tour as well. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the way is shut. You shall not pass. That is amazing. I love it. I love that. Ivory says, I want an unlockable skin preview. You would have to synthesize dinosaurs to see the full preview, but after that, every time you give a dinosaur that skin, you get to see a full preview at the start. That makes sense. Honestly, I mean, I'm lazy enough to... Oh, God. Oh, God. No? You cool? Just a little... Just a little skerfuffle right there? Oh, I love the Spinosaurus, guys. I'm so sorry. I just love it so, so much. It is cool, and nobody can change my mind. Oh, 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 they're fighting. Ooh! No! <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> So that doesn't quite work. Um, I'm just gonna, yeah, put a paleo medical thing over here. That's it. Yeah, they really need to make it a thing that you can turn that off. They really, really, really do. Alrighty. So, they'll probably end up killing each other, methinks. I'm afraid that is going to be our reality. Ah, uh, it's- it, Oh, I feel sad for- I'm sorry. What's this? Does this look natural in the environment? I do I do like a little bit of change, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. I like that as something different. They're both sleeping. <laughs> it's not looking too shabby. Maybe do a little hill. The hills are alive with the sound of murder. Are they done? They are done. Oh, they might not be able to get here. Because uh, I don't think they can go through these gates. But maybe if I do that, they'll find their way. I mean, they're probably just going to fight to the death. Undiagnosed ailment. I think the, the ass whooping that it uh, received is probably the, uh, the ailment that... We're talking about. <laughs> I have the high ground now. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> so sorry. Uh, okay, let's do the aviary because these guys are done. Let's watch this. Oh, the music is so upbeat! I like it! The skin is a little lighter than I wanted. Oh, I'm actually gonna use another thing I learned from the Gaming Beaver. And he did like a showcase video of all of the uh, flying reptiles, and he showed us that if you put a flag in here, they'll sit on it! So we're gonna do that. Here, we're just gonna put a couple of flags. Uh, one over here, one over here, and one right there. And I think I'm gonna put rocks- Here, see, see, see! That's so cool! Yeah, he figured that out because they do that when they escape, but they also do that like so. That's so cool. Ah, uh, Leviathan, thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you for, for your donations and for your chats and for your skin suggestion. I hope you have a good sleep. Thank you so much for joining, mate. 
That's pretty dang cool. Okay, so they should... See? Oh, that's... Okay, hold on. Everybody needs a post. <laughs> there needs to be another flag. <laughs> Otherwise he feels left out, okay? We can't have that. Okay. There, and we'll do a big lake. Uh, with the fish. Yeah, see? Oh, he found his little post. I'm so happy for him. Okay. Let's do some... Oh, the sound effect uh, in the aviary is a little overwhelming when you spend a lot of time in it. Injured. Oh, God. Oh, it has a con... Oh, my God. It has a concussion. Okay. You poor thing. You poor thing. Maybe what I should do... Oh, right. I'm just gonna do all of them, because if they're gonna end up being Moza food, well, then he'll be well fed today. A well fed Moza. Let me just decorate this. Hey Samuel, how has my day been? My day's been pretty good. Uh, worked on today's video. It took a very long time for it to upload. I had that problem yesterday as well, actually. Uh, my collab video with the Gaming Beaver, it took super, super long to upload. I have that problem sometimes. I don't know what causes it. And I had it today as well. Um... So I edited that video, waited for it to go up, and I basically spent the entire day just unlocking dinosaurs. Uh, so that was a lot of work, but I enjoyed it, so that's good. Flappy, flappy, flappy. <laughs> yeah, I want to do some big rocks to sort of hide the view of the... Um The hatchery a little bit. It's a shame they can't sit on the rocks, but that's probably too complicated. They are so so flappy. Okay, I want to do some trees. Uh, let's do these again. Okay. Uh, what's- hold- what? What? Hold on. What? What? Um. 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 Excuse me. Excuse- excuse me. <laughs> um, I think I found a bug. <laughs> I think that's not a feature. I think that's a bug. Oh boy. Alright. I like having some, uh, some, some trees in here. Some palms. I'm stuck outside. Here, just uh, adding some rocks around it. Make it a little less like... Oh, this, this is a flag post. <laughs> this is indeed just a flag post. Don't pay attention to the flag post, people. Can't really do much when they're sitting on it, though. And they're all sitting on it. Oh, he's leaving. Beautiful. That's too big. That's what she said. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Missed my shot. Okay. Don't land on it! 
don't, don't, don't. Oh, damn it. <laughs> we'll leave it at this. Oh, 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 this one's free. This one's free. Oh, sh <laughs> hurry, 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 hurry. I just feel like it looks a little less weird this way. Don't you think? I think so. Uh, okay, so the spino is tracked. Uh, oh, hold on. We have a button for that nowadays. Let's fly it all the way over there. Treat it. Poor spino has a concussion. It's a big ol' headache. Oh, they sit on the modern lights as well. That's also pretty cool. We'll do that for the, uh, for the next one. Are these guys done? No. My god. I think I want to do... Let's do something over here. Oh, Kayla Deason, you finished JP Chaos Theory mode. Congratulations. Hey, that's so good. That alone deserves a hug, but thank you for the super chat. I'm so happy you finished it. Did you have fun with it? You were struggling with it before, so hopefully it was fun in the end. Okay, so what I think I want to do is maybe do a lagoon like that. Obstructed. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna wait for it to finish, and then I'm gonna see if I can just turn it a little bit. Oh, you can't. Oh, it's not a. It's not a building you can move. It's so difficult for. Am I the only one struggling with this? I might be, honestly. I'm really struggling with how they connect to each other. That took forever. There you go. Alrighty. That's not gonna work. But this this'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Uh, I don't really want that. We'll do it like that. Brilliant. Here, we'll do a little roundabout. There. And... I feel like maybe this should be like a teeny tiny exhibit, maybe? Maybe do that, put a viewing gallery over there. There. Okay, so what I'm gonna do in this one is the Lyplurodon. I have a I have opinions about the Lyplur- I'm just gonna work on it, uh Chloe Mondo Rinets. I like that color. Should we just do should we just do that? See what happens. The beaker. All right. Uh, is the spino still being worked on? Ah, treatment successful. Let's bring her back. She's just gonna get abused again. Might have to find a solution for that. Honestly, hold on, hold on. What I might do. It's not ideal, but I have to save my Spinosaurus. Uh, so right now it's gonna get flown in over here, but I'm just gonna trank it right away. And I'm gonna put it in, here, in there. Because I don't want it to keep getting beat up. That's sad.
<laughs> it literally, like, it had a concussion. It was tranked, like, shot with arrows, shot with darts. Moved over there, tranked, brought back, and now it's just gonna get tracked again. Don't fight, don't fight in the meantime. Do not. Be nice. Be kind, rewind. No, don't reverse walk. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't. Yep. That, ooh, oh, that, oh, she's gonna feel that. She's gonna feel that in the morning. Jesus. All right. They don't eat, so this is kind of useless. You know what? I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna f mess with my rocks. I like my rocks. Oh, cute! They're done! These are so cute! Actually, it's kind of creepy when they swarm like that. <laughs> oh, I like that skin! Oh, I'm a fan of this! I like it. All right, so I released eight, I think. Uh, let's check. Six, seven, eight, yes. Let's just see what happens. Uh, see if the Mosasaurus eats them. Okay, I'm gonna work on the... Let's just do three, because why the frick not? When we release this guy, I'm gonna talk- I'm gonna speak my opinion on the, like, Pluridon design for this game. <laughs> it's not going to be particularly flattering, not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, I was kind of working on this a little bit. See what I really miss with decorations? That's not decorations. It's just something big to put in the middle, right here. You know, like a- like a fountain, a water feature of some- some kind. I think that would be really, really, really nice. Because this is... it's just so small. I don't particularly like that. I do think what I can do is make like a little... Yeah, you better turn around, people. You see, and it didn't shake on the third one, and now it does shake. Shake. And now it doesn't. It's so weird. I'm gonna put some, um... Seats behind there. You're gonna disappear. Yep. Your own damn fault. Uh, put some lights on the end. It's not perfect, but it's okay. People are little. they're walking into the decorations and then disappearing. That's uh, an interesting choice for your life. Suicide by decoration. <laughs> Hi, Alfred, welcome to the stream. Totally not Fizzeroli. Fizzeroli says you should add some kind of small carnivore like Pros, Radosaurus, Velociraptor, or Herrera. I feel like they just fit the desert vibe. We can actually get started on a small carnivore. Because what I'm going to do is like over here. Yeah. Oh, I totally forgot about these viewing. Oh, we'll do this one. Here, see, this is going to be a small exhibit for a small carnivore. Let's do the light fencing. They're not going to go anywhere anyway. They can't. We've engineered them that way. Uh, let's curve it. Okay. 
All right, so this is going to be for a small carnivore. And you know what I'm going to ask. <laughs> Give your suggestions. Small carnivore, guys. And we can do this. Um, carnivore. Small. I think that's so cool. That's something I never thought of. But we can do that now. We can, We have the power. Coelophysis, and I probably... Yeah, because those were on the list. Good call. Coelophysis, it is. Oh, no. I want to see if I can mess with the skins. Okay, so the pattern is always going to be that horizontal stripe. I think. Uh, Let's see. So what if we do green with... Red. Like Christmas! Four. That's perfect. The landscape is doing uh, the heavy lifting for this uh, design. I need my individually placeable trees! Frontier, get on it! Hold on, I need a sippy sip of my totally not branded fizzy drink. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. refreshing I think we need a bathroom because people are going to be peeing themselves with excitement where's my bathroom oh here I appreciate that that fits I appreciate that I love it let me let me do something over here when it out Put a big rock there. I just scared my rabbit. <laughs> my rabbit was like, stop talking. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep. You're always trying to sleep, baby. You are always, always trying to sleep. Oh, I read a... I like that one better. I like it better when it turns... It was that one. Eh. Eh. There you go. Totally not. Fizzeroli, do you have the JP3 male Velociraptor skin yet? I have no idea. How do you unlock that? If it's through Jurassic Park... Three chaos there mode, then yes. If otherwise, then probably not. You know what? Let's do it. It's a party now. Four. Oh wait, I'm looking for the plus. There you go. Okay, I'm just gonna look at the Velociraptor. I'm not gonna make it, but I just wanna see. I don't I don't know. Oh, blue, Charlie, Delta, Echo. Oh, Velociraptor. Oh, so that's how they did it. Hold on, this looks freaking cool. Uh, I just decided I'm gonna make some Velociraptor. <laughs> Wait, I selected it, right? Yeah, okay. I want to see what that turns out like. Five. Just for laughs. Why not? We're living the dream over here. Living the dream. Oh, Lyplurodon is done. I'm gonna make you wait just a little bit, guys. I actually like the idea of doing blue flags, because we're in... Like, the Mosasaurus section. There. Oh, some people are gonna die. Some people are gonna die. You are the chosen one. And like like bookending it like so.
it's kind of hard to find inspiration to really mix and match them. I think all of my ichthys are still uh, still good. That's nice. Hey, Johnny Barragan. Thanks so much for that super chat. Mate, have a hug first and foremost. Oh god, I interrupted your hug. That was a case of hugus interruptus. Evolution Square, yesterday I loved your collaboration with the Gaming Beaver. Thank you so much. But you would ask him if he would... But you would ask him if he could make a creature for the game? I don't think... I'm not sure if I understand your question. Uh, do you want me to ask him if he could make a creature for the game? I don't... Um, I don't think the Gaming Beaver has a lot of input in the game. <laughs> Uh, we all thought he was going to be a scientist. That was a pipe dream, unfortunately. Um, I'm glad you liked my collaboration with him, though. <laughs> it was a lot of a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm going to release this, and then we're going to talk a little bit about the Lyplorodon. Oh, pattern is looking promising. Pretty cool. Yeah, okay, so the pattern is pretty cool. Uh, aside from, like, letting go of the fact that I'm attached to the Walking with the Dinosaurs design, obviously, 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 they couldn't go that round. That design is copyrighted. But, and that's a big but, um... I'm just not a big fan of it. I'm not. Last Arbiter says it pretty good. It looks too monstery. They did too much with it. They tried too much with making it look different. They were like, let's do a neck beard <laughs> because someone said that during a stream and I can't not see it that way now. Let's do um, the the scales along the back like like a crocodile. Let's do the little nails on the flipper. It's it's too much in that regard. And also, what I... Oh, hold on. Let me give it a feeder first and foremost. Um, it's not a crocodile. It doesn't live in rivers. It doesn't spend most of its time resting on riverbanks. It's a creature that lives in the ocean. There's nothing in the ocean this size that has so much texture on its body because in terms of hydrodynamics that is all of those spikes like the little neck beard the the scales on the back all of that is hydrodynamically causing a ton of drag so it would actually be really inefficient for a large creature like this who spends all of its time swimming in the open ocean to have all of that extra stuff you know so that's my struggle with it I'm sure I'll love it eventually, but I'm I'm struggling. It I'm struggling. I'm, I can't lie. All oh, right, food. Hey, Gem is here. Welcome, Gem. It looks cool. Okay, well, well, that settles it then. <laughs> uh, right feeder. I think they just do this one. I'm gonna do two just in case because they're gonna be eating a lot of fish. All right, Coelophysis is already for release, so we're gonna fly those in here. And we have a lot of them. <laughs> Jesus, we have a lot. Um, let's do that. Oh, sorry. My bad. Oh, let's, I, okay, let's continue it. That's kind of nice, actually. We'll continue it outside of the exhibit. It's, uh, it's kind of funny. I don't hate that. This is a pretty cool view. Not gonna lie. I like it. I'm gonna flank it with some trees. I'm really attached to these at the moment. There. I'm gonna leave it mostly open, I think. Uh, let's see. 
let's turn it. Ooh. That is kind of nice. I, I keep clicking away when I just mean to want to select a different rock. All right, we'll just watch them get flown in so I can pay a little bit more attention to the chat. Uh, CMDR, Dahlia, how long ago th did the stream start? Uh, two hours ago, so we're getting close to wrapping it up, actually. Evo, can you make Pachyrhinosaurus? I don't think we can make it. I think the stream is going to last maybe another 15 minutes. Uh, Neron says, I mean, the most source as a design that is also a little bit hydrodynamically demanding, but still, compared to the Elasmo, no. <laughs> the Lyo is better than a Elasmo, like... Pretty much both most ways, yeah. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Uh, they definitely went with a very creative route for the Elasmo. <laughs> it's a very polarizing design. I what I do think I like about it is because we already have the Plesiosaurus and the Attenboroughsaurus, which those are already quite similar to each other. So I do appreciate that they try to do something really different with the Elasmo. But it's so weird looking. Like Pluridon is just built different. Uh, York's VL11 Evo is Jurassic World Evolution 2 good for sandbox. Um, yes and no. For the full story, I think you should just check out my review of the game. Uh, and I think I talk about sandbox about midway. Uh, there are some negatives and some positives. The good thing is that the negatives are fixable. So, I'd say maybe if you if you want it purely for the sandbox, or if you're worried about that, wait a little bit and see what Frontier does. What kind of patches come out in the first month or something. I guess that would be my suggestion. Hold on, let me pay attention. The plus five. Nobody has five, then we'll do that. He's overqualified, but that's okay. It's okay. Now I don't really have an exhibit for it. Let's do the raptors. Oh yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's gonna be way too small for them and people are gonna get mad, but I want to do it. Hold on, I know. I think we can get a little bit closer. There. Bringing out the old tricks, people. <laughs> this is how you make a perfect circle. There, and curve. There you go. It's gonna be like a take, sort of, on the raptor paddock idea. And we'll put viewing towers. Hmm. That's not ideal, is it? We'll put it over here. <laughs> it has to be really far back. That makes zero sense. You know what? I don't like that. I'm gonna ignore the game's logic, okay? I hope you don't mind. So, this is where we're going to put the raptors. And I think... Like, for example, in Sandbox, they should definitely make the fences instant. The monorail needs to be instant. Um, no combat needs to be a function. What else? Oh, that's a little bit too much, isn't it, love? 
scientists, they should get rid of that in sandbox. Just make... Honestly, I'm... Instant incubation is probably never going to be a thing, right? Because it wasn't in the first game. But come on, Frontier, at least... Get rid of the scientist requirement. It's the least you can do. You love us, right? Now, last live stream, I did have strong opinions about the uh, terrain tool not changing the water. It's a hit and miss. Like, right now it's pretty nice, uh, but it's still a hit and miss for me. Sometimes it's really annoying. But I do appreciate that I was able to do that without messing everything up. Okay, we're gonna do rock on the outside. Tactical Socks, I love that name. Uh, it's talking to a B for aviation. Well, I'll agree with you that we should have individual trees. Do you have any idea what it's like to make a game you can't just copy and paste stuff? Um, speaking f uh, okay. <laughs> no, you can't just copy and paste stuff, but you can copy and paste stuff. It's a little, there's a little bit more work to it, but for example, uh, some of the mods that are in Jurassic World Evolution 1, like I'm thinking about the Raider 1985, I think that's his name, Raider 1985, his mods, he's just taking assets that he copied out of Planet Zoo and another Jurassic World game, and he copied them into Jurassic World Evolution. It's not as simple as Control c Control v obviously, but yes, you can reuse assets, and it's quote-unquote fairly simple, especially for a professional developing uh, game-developing company. So, adding in those individual trees would be pretty simple for them to do. I'm not gonna say it's like five minutes of work, but in the grand scheme of things, they can do that. Okay, let's see what this skin looks like. Because that's that was my point for making them. I'm gonna put some rocks on there. I mean, how nice is it that that doesn't change the terrain? That's nice, right? Come on. It's a little weird, though, <laughs> what I'm doing design-wise. <laughs> it's not my best work right now. There, just some randomness. I think I'm gonna put some trees back there. Let's go with... Uh, actually, let's put these in front. I like how that looks. But I want to put some proper trees back there. So maybe... What do these look like? Ooh, these look kind of cool. Let's go with that. They look kind of primordial. I like that. Can I put something back here? Just want something full. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Wee! There they come! Wee! <laughs> huh. I'm interested. Uh, Rocket Bomb, I only stream on Saturdays, so I'll be back here next week, same time, every time. I can't see it. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but the pattern is just a little underwhelming, I think. But I don't hate it. And they're just cool dinosaurs, so... It's so weird that they don't need feeders, it's so weird. But I have that turned off. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Handsome gal. Oh, look, they're swimming together. That ichthyosaurus is like, oh, I need to get out of here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's do one more thing, maybe, before we end the stream. How about we release something in here? Or maybe... Hold on, let me check my list. Let's make an Acrocanthosaurus. That'll be the last thing we do during the stream. 
Because that was on the list. Okay, let's get rid of that one. Acro. Uh, Fion, Kali, this is the Southwest USA map. I want to go for green. Start. Let's make that. And where am I? What? Where can I go from here? Nowhere. I can go nowhere. Cool. I've worked myself into a bit of a situation. Oh, no, I can go over here with the monorail. Problem solved. This is gonna be for the acro. There. Let's do this one again. I love the eagle sound effect, like just the ambient noise in the background. I really like that. Wait. Uh, there you go. Let's go over the lagoon. That's cool. Uh, not a lot of pillars going on, but okay. Feels very unsturdy. What was this? Oh, wait, is it too many? The Pan Pan Man! <laughs> I love that name. Thank you so much for that super chat, mate. What mode do you unlock the acro in? Couldn't find it in challenge mode. Same with the other dinos. Need only seven and the two hybrids. Um, It's a little all over the place. Uh, God, which one was the Acrocanthosaurus? Oh, I really don't remember. Because I've played... I think I've played every single challenge mode at this point. I haven't five-starred them, obviously, but I went through them to unlock a lot of stuff. Um, I've had the Acro for a while, though. So I think Acro is... Either Canada or Germany. It has to be one of those two. Because I had it for a while. And I I, I only did those before, uh, before yesterday. Why? Oh, right. The monorail's just not finished building. Oh, uh, Compi Biologist says Acro is in Germany. So there you go. Thank you so much, Compi Biologist. Uh, Lisa Oshie, uh, how to get patterns? I don't know. I think just by playing the game. Uh, I don't think you purposefully unlock them. No, wait, you do. In genetic research, there's a, um, there's pattern stuff. It's not a lot, though. Uh, slowed rock or slow ed rock or slow ed rock nine. Thank you so much for that super chat, mate. I'm so sorry I, I screw up names all the time, but have a hug. Uh, hi, Evil of the channel. Just wondering if you can turn off the UI for the status checks. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think you can, like, you can switch off. Oh, God. Yeah, they don't like each other. Ooh, yeah, they're, they don't like each other. <laughs> I'm not gonna fix that right now, though, because we're working. 
Acro is going to be the finale to... Oh, just one. Sad. Oh. Mm, there. Does anybody know when you can get like Pluridon and Tylo? Uh, Tylo is in challenge mode Canada, I'm pretty sure. Like Pluridon was... Uh, Jesus, the music suddenly stopped. I thought my game was going to crash. I think like Pluridon might be UK. I mean, that would make sense, right? Hey, Mouse Scream! Been feeling a little bit uneasy about Jurassic World Evolution 2, to be honest. Oh, boy. I get it, though. There is, um, yeah, there are some, some big holes in terms of missed potential. And uh, I can definitely see why some of that would be um, off-putting. If, if those are the things that you really value from, from the game. I totally get that. Oh, Fletcher says Lyo was at the uh, challenge mode in Canada. I'm mixing things up. I've been... I've been working so hard to unlock all of these dinosaurs, guys. <laughs> I'm getting it all mixed up. I'm an unreliable narrator at this point. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been 84 years. <laughs> it's been so much work. I will definitely say... And there's some disagreement on this, but for me personally, I preferred unlocking things in the first game because it was very linear. It was just a case of make your way through the campaign and you just unlock everything that way. You don't have to, you don't have to think to yourself, oh, where should I go to unlock this? Where do I need to go to unlock that? Because you, you, had to, you, you, you just played the campaign anyway, so you naturally came across all those things. And that's not the case this time around. You really have to go out and search for things. Uh, it means doing some things double. Um, for example, if you're trying to unlock... I don't know. Uh, for example, the Giganotosaurus that I don't have yet. I don't, I'm don't. pretty sure it wasn't in Canada. Although, maybe I'm mistaken. Uh, so let's say you're trying to unlock that, right? And you're working towards that... And you're unlocking all this stuff in the meantime. You're unlocking Metricanthosaurus, you're unlocking Herrerasaurus, you're unlocking Carnotaurus. Great, and then you get your Giganotosaurus. And the next time around, in another map, you want to unlock, let's say, the Spinosaurus. I don't know if that works out really in terms of which you get where, but let's just say that. And then you again have to unlock first the Carnotaurus and the Metricanthosaurus and the Herrerasaurus before you can finally get to... Uh, the Spinosaurus. So you're doing some double work. And it's a little bit frustrating. Just being honest. Hey, Gallant219. Welcome to the stream. How's your day been? Uh, before Aviation Evo, do you think we will have Cenozoic creatures in the upcoming DLC? I don't know. Um... I honestly won't be able... I don't... I don't know. I hope so. It would be cool, but I can also totally see them not doing that. I guess it kind of depends on uh, if uh, Dominion does anything with that. If it doesn't, then definitely no, because it's not really part of the franchise then. You think that... No, it's still working. It's okay. I think it could use a little. It could use a little dip over here. Just a little dip, like so. That's a little much. There. It's a little weird that the river is higher than that, but just go with it. <laughs> just go with it. This is a world where we can create dinosaurs. Okay, realism is uh, out the window. Hey, 
Hey, Julio Rondon or Julio Rondon. Hi, Evo. How are you doing? What did I miss? Sorry, I'm late. I was watching your other video. I was, hey, I appreciate you watching the videos. Thank you so, so much. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we are close to ending it, unfortunately, but... You know, we've just been uh, building some exhibits using the new rocks and stuff, having fun with that. I hope that maybe you'll have fun rewatching the stream or maybe some of my other videos. I'm sorry. Mouse Queen, thank you so much for that super chat. Grumbles in a way that would put Grant to shame. I'll just scratch the fan itch playing the first game. I mean, I definitely think we have some improvements uh, coming. Stop it! So, you know, maybe in, in a couple months time, maybe then the game will be at a point where you're like, yes, now I now I want it, now I need it. Uh, Shadow Swarm, thank you so much. Have a Yahoo. 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 I hope, oh no, you're doing this on purpose, aren't you, to bully me. I hope a Simbo Spondylus, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, gets added in a DLC. Uh, that's a marine reptile, I'm, that's if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I just want everything. <laughs> they can never add too much. My first priority is um, Therizinosaurus, though, and it always will be. Because it's weird and we like weird over here. And we have another super chat from Last Arbiter. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> What dinosaurs do you want to be added in the DLC? Well, I kind of lifted the veil there. Uh, Therizinosaurus is at my is the top of my priority list. Concavenator, Microceratus, just because those are, you know, Microceratus because it's so different in terms of size. Therizinosaurus because it's just so different overall. Concavenator because I love it. Actually, uh, one of my moderators, Leviathan, uh, he together with some other people, they are LA Studios mods on Nexus, and they did a beautiful Concavenator mod for the first game. And ever since then, I was like, yes, okay, now I need, now I need that officially a thousand percent. Ape kills, thank you so, so much. Yahoo. Cutie, I bet. Uh, me? <laughs> Mouse queen, thank you. Yahoo. So many yahoos. Just want another raptor hug. Oh, it's it's tiered, actually. <laughs> Blue is the Yahoo. Green is raptor hug. Yellow is, I think, the Ian Malcolm laugh. Orange is... I think orange is you did it, you crazy son of a thing is you did it. And the other ones, I don't remember. Oh, red is the Moses scene. I know that. Captain Strewn says, but will it be a naked Therizinosaurus or a feathered one? I mean, obviously I want a feathered one, but I'll take a naked one if if need be. I'll take anything at this point. I just want a Therizinosaurus. <laughs> Thanks, mouse queen. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Have a hug. You'll have two hugs. There you go. <laughs> Thanks so much for the support, Mouse Queen. And we have another. Yahoo! Yahoo. Thanks, Ape Kills. Marco Garcia Astolfi says, I really want Quetzalcoatlus. I do as well. I have a feeling we might get it with the Dominion DLC because it's in the movie. Oh. Or not. I'm so Allegedly. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be spoiling stuff. <laughs> I love the ragdoll effect, man. Don't do that. Don't, what are you? What? what? Um, a little underwhelming, if I had to say. The pattern is the same as the first game. I mean, I did choose just green overall, so I guess that's my own fault. Oh, I didn't even look at the Coelophysis. They were red and green, right? They were Christmas. Uh, yeah, I think this is kind of cool. I was expecting a darker green and a brighter red, but other than that, it's pretty good. All right, so I think that is where we should end it for today. Let's actually have a look at some of our biggest creatures. So we have the light pleuridon. Let me turn that off. 
You know what I think? I think maybe I should just think of it as not like Pluridon. I need to apply the same strategy as what I did with the Deinonychus. I love the Deinonychus as long as I don't think about the fact that it's a Deinonychus. You know what I mean? Uh, we also have a sleepy Spinosaurus just waking up. Very bright. We have a Mosasaurus. Oh, I put in the feeder, but they don't have any hunger. I love just looking at the marine reptiles. They're so, so cool. Mouse Queen, thanks so much. I might just throw JP1 in the Blu-ray player for pure giggles, blood-curdling, terrifying giggles. I mean, that movie, is every time... I, I, I basically want to watch it on a weekly basis. Uh, we also had... Let me actually look at this one. The Changjusaurus. This is probably my favorite skin so far. Hold on. No, no, that's a lie. That's a lie. You know what my favorite skin is at the moment. Where is it? This... It's so beautiful. Then the pseudo. Homolocephaly. Cutie. So yeah, we've, uh, we've done quite a bit in the park. And uh, yeah, we're gonna leave it right at that. I hope that you enjoyed the stream. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I see another Yahoo coming through. Yahoo! My yahoos were temporarily broken. Uh, but I hope you had a good time with the stream. If you're not subscribed yet and you want to see more streams, I, I'm live every Saturday. And I just try to do as much fun Jurassic World Evolution 2 content. In the meantime, I still have playthroughs coming up as well as sandbox tips. So I hope you'll join me for that. Leave a like on the stream as well. We are so close to a thousand likes, guys. Uh, if you haven't liked yet, can we get it to that milestone? That would be so, so awesome. Uh, I want to thank uh, Fletcher for being here as moderator the entire time. Jim is here as well. Um, I... Oh god, who else was here? I'm so sorry, I keep forgetting. I'm so, so sorry. But you guys know I appreciate you. Moderators, all, as always, thank you so, so much for keeping the chat in check. We just breached a thousand likes. Thanks so much for the support on the channel. It's been amazing. And honestly, this game is changing my life in so many positive ways that... It's incredible. It's truly incredible. I won't I won't get into it, but I'm having a moment. <laughs> and thank you so much for making that moment possible. Um let, let me just say goodbye to some folks. Uh Longfish, Coaster VR, Nathan. Oh, Coast VR, you just joined. I'm so sorry. Maybe next week. I'm sorry. Uh Nathan uh PVZ or PVZ, the great dinosaur, Boom Master. Pimpster Shuts Monkey, uh, Inger Marie, Dino Park Dan, Mouse Screen, of course, thanks so much for joining. Small Boy, Crowny, Gojira Gamer, Faint Orca, B4 Aviation, Jonathan Holiday, Wesley Huey. Oh, chat, stop jumping around. <laughs> Let me see, where did I leave off? I have no idea. Oh, there you go. Obsidian Fear, uh, The Slasher Flicker, Yelka Talsma, <laughs> Yorgs, Dominic Kimber. Flexi Rexy, Curiosity Gaming, Neron, of course, thanks so much for joining. Julio Rondon, Super, Super FNAF, Nathan. Uh, I missed the F the first time I said your name, I just realized that. McCann, McCann, Daniel Sla, Magnetator, thanks so much for being here. I'm so sorry, no The Isle streams this month. It's gonna be all about Jurassic World Evolution 2, but I will be back and I'll need you. Uh, Augusto Ditlo. Caleb England, Lars Hoon, I'm assuming you're Dutch, Dapper Boy, Rexy, Nino the Boss Productions, Band Crafter, Samuel, Mr. Nugget, Connor Mansell, Hamter, uh, Disdain, Rodrigo Diaz, Savage Quesadilla, thanks so much for joining, Rhyme of Time, Marcus Groom, Break It, Battle Royale, uh, Marco Garcia, Astolfi, uh, I think I have most people at this point. I'm so sorry if I missed you, but overall, thank you so much, so much for keeping me company and for giving cool suggestions. Yeah, I hope you had a good time and, uh, until next time, enjoy the game. Bye, guys. <laughs>